To find the volume of any cube, you have to find the length of one of its sides and raise that length to the third power. And the reason we can raise it to the third power is because all of the three dimensions will be exactly the same length. So basically you are taking that number and multiplying it by itself three times. Notice that this problem provides information that the edge length of each individual cube is half of an inch long. So if we take a look at this yellow cube up here in the corner of our cube, we would say the distance from here to here is half of an inch, which means the distance from this corner all the way to this point is one whole inch. And if we do another half of an inch, now we have three halves, which is equal to one and a half inches. And then if we keep going, we have two inches, two and a half inches, and three inches. So because we have six individual cubes stacked side by side and each one has a width of one half of an inch, those six halves equal three holes. And because we have a cube, all three dimensions are exactly the same measurement. So the length, the width, and height of this cube will all be three inches. Now that we know that the edge length of our larger cube is exactly three inches, we can use this information to figure out what the volume of our cube actually is. So in our formula, we are going to substitute the variable s with 3 and raise that to the third power. Next, I'm going to write 3 to the third power in expanded form. After we write in expanded form, we can multiply two numbers at a time. 3 times 3 is 9. And now we have to multiply 9 times 3. And 9 times 3 is 27. So we would say that the volume of this cube is 27 cubic inches.